Hello guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapping 2. Today I'm going to share with you how you can make this super easy faux wood background. Uh, this is not something that I came up with. I've seen it all over on Facebook and stuff like that. And it's so easy. It looks so cool. So I wanted to share with you guys. And you don't need many supplies. You just need some cardstock. And I'll be using Distress inks. But you can use any ink pads. So here I have uh, some cardstocks that I cut. And you'll be needing a scoreboard, scoring board, or you can use your trimmer to score or however. But um, I've cut some different color card stocks here. I just brought out the mini so that um, I can just have a lot of uh, the colors. I have access to all the colors. So here I'm going to start off with this uh, card stock first. And I'm just going to score every half an inch. Uh, you can do it uh, however uh, far you want. You can do it every half an inch, every three quarter of an inch. You can even do every inch. Um, that's going to create your uh, wood grain. I guess the wood plank. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, score a couple and um, go off camera and score the rest of the card stocks and then I'll, I'll be back uh, once I have uh, some card stocks scored. And that's all I'm doing is scoring it at every half inch. So now I'm back and you're going to flip that over the card stocks that you scored so you'll be working on the opposite side of the card stock that you scored so you can see the raised bumps here as you can see that's how we scored you flip it over and you can see that raised bumps right there so that's the side that we're going to work on depending on the color combination that you choose the look uh, of it looks different as well as the color of the cardstock here i'm starting out with vintage photo and i'm just going down uh, and just putting some color, just swiping it across. I did notice that um, I was having better luck with the uh, full size pads because these minis, um, sometimes it would get caught because the foam is uh, small. And you don't want to like press down like super hard, but you don't need to be really precise either. Here I have some walnut stain and you can see it already kind of looks like the wood grain. I think this is like the coolest thing ever. Whoever came up with this is like a genius. This is so cool. So you can like do like your whole 12 by 12 if you uh, like like a 12 by 12 pad if you like. You can do a full size 8.5 by 11 if you like. It's so easy. This is rusty hinge. So as you You'll see later on as I add different colors, the different combinations, uh, it'll look uh, different. So which is super cool. I'll definitely be, be uh, playing around a lot more with this. And then we'll definitely make something with that. So you can uh, see there I have like a packing uh, paper type in the back. Uh, my background, you're probably wondering why I'm not working on my craft sheet. And that's because uh, I want to, um, you know, when I'm working on mixed media stuff, the colors that falls off and then puts on the uh, paper, and then I can use that in my mixed media projects. That's why I like to do this, and uh, so that uh, it won't go to waste either. Here I'm doing a uh, black soot here. And that kind of really darkened it up and I really like that. And you can see how uh, cool it looks. It looks like wood. So after I finish uh, showing you this, I will show you a couple more. But I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it. Adding some more color. And I'll put all the uh, links in the, um, the supplies available on my blog. 
So I believe this cardstock might be uh, the basil cardstock. And this is where I'm uh, using the full size pad, starting with the vintage photo. And because the color of the cardstock is different than the previous, this is going to give us another look. So again, I'm using some rusty hinge. As you can see, sometimes it gets caught with the mini inks. And this is the walnut stain. So I'm going to continue to add a different variety of colors. And you can see right there how different they look. So this is super cool, guys. It's so fast. It looks so cool. Just a couple um, announcements that I have uh, for Tubular Designs LLC. Uh, we thank you guys so much for all your support. Uh, we had a lot of uh, fun activities and promotions going on in the uh, month of January. There was free shipping on all orders in the U.S. and um, lower rate uh, for international shipping rates. And it was like a promotional uh, rate. Uh, and then now it's February and we'll be starting our first challenge, which is uh, going to be uh, on the Facebook page, which I'll link in the description below. And Dan, uh, who is the owner of Tupelo Designs LLC, was generous enough to keep the free shipping going uh, for the month of February. How cool is that? Uh, for me, free shipping is like a big deal for me because shipping to Hawaii is super expensive and um, that is very uh, generous of him to uh, keep the free shipping for another um, month, a whole month. So uh, go ahead and take advantage of that and a lot of new products are being added daily so go ahead and check that out as well. So as you can see I've done several and I will put them side by side. Uh, on the one, the one on the left, I did use some forest moss, so you can see that it looks a little different. So I came back here, and now I have some of these done. Three of them are the same color cardstock, only two of them are different. As you can see here, these are all the same cardstocks, just different colors. And now I have this dry brush. You want to use a dry brush. And I'm going to add some little bit of gesso. Uh, you want it to be fairly dry, your brush. You don't want to fully load the brush. You just want a little bit of color on the bristles. And that's going to give us a more of aged, um, like peeled paint type of a look. Here, you can see that that's a lot. Um, so go ahead and wipe it off and then uh, off to the side or something so that you wouldn't get like a big blob like that. But um, it's super cool. And it's going to give us like a, like a peeled paint, very old uh, type of a wood look. And I'll show you again on the uh, next one right next to it. And uh, very gently, you just want to create a little bit of the white highlights. Uh, you don't want it to be super dark. So that will give us like a weathered uh, wood look, which I think is super cool too. So you can see here, uh, this time I uh, didn't load my brush a lot and I did wipe it off to the side. And then I'm just going back and forth, adding a little bit of the white highlights. Very gently. So I'm grabbing the uh, white gesso. I'm putting it off to the side, scribbling it off, and then uh, going with the very gentle strokes here and there. And later on, you'll see the difference between uh, the ones we put the added the white versus uh, the ones that we didn't. I think they both look amazing. I wish I could find uh, the person that came up with this because uh, I couldn't find it. 
but whoever uh, that came up with this is like, yeah, it's genius. Great idea. So this is what I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it and go ahead and try this out. This is super fun. Uh, I, th I thank you guys so much for stopping by and check out the store for um, the free shipping for the month of February. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.